This is the GB Winging It. And today is February 13th. It is currently about 545, 42 degrees with a real feel of 39. Winds are light and we expect temperatures to rise. Have a little bit of cloud cover, but that stuff is clearing. You gotta love it when it rains and it cleans the street for you. So we're looking forward to temperatures to rise throughout the day with highs at about maybe 52 or so. And then the event, we're out here and I am uh, taking you along for the ride, the morning commute, rambling with GB, yet another episode in this trip that we take on the Honda Goldwing DCT Tour airbag. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Guys, let me tell you about my start to the day. So as is customary, I get an early start to the day and I'm downstairs in my basement, I'm putting on my gear, I'm putting my layers on, my heavy jacket, making sure the wires are long enough to run out of the, uh, the sleeves, the cuffs of, of my jacket. What's going on here? And probably not a good place to stop. And I get out to the shed, I'm carrying my lunch and all the other stuff that I put in the saddlebags during, before the morning commute. And I realize my bike isn't turning on. Now it's pitch black in there. It is not lit back there. And uh, my bike's not turning on. So what do I do? I take off the gloves, zip down the jacket, feel for the fob. Yeah, it's in the jacket, or so I think. Wrong. I got the wrong fob in the jacket. Yeah, I got my wife's car fob in my jacket and I didn't realize I switched the two. So this is after about 10 minutes of pressing on some buttons on this swab and hearing doo -doo 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 -doo. that sound is coming from, I don't know, maybe two, three hundred feet away in front of the house. I'm in the back of the house. Long story short, I got to go back in, take my stuff off, get the fob, put the fob in the jacket. And here I am starting all over again. So that, that's the start to my day. Bike started right up, no problems. But what did we expect? We're on the world's finest touring machine. Or sport touring machine. Or commuter. Or everything. We're on the Honda Goldwing. And we don't expect anything less. Now I want to talk to you guys very briefly about throttle and managing your speed through the throttle on a DCT motorcycle. And please leave in the comments below. I want to know, how do you manage the throttle here when you're doing your slow speed and your fast speed maneuvers? Do you use brake? Do you use rear brake when making your slow turns or do you pretty much finesse it? Oh, I love this bike. It's so hard. It is so hard to actually make a deal on this motorcycle. And I say that for a reason. I, I say that because this bike is so good at doing so many different things. I mean, she has the forward walking speed. She has the reverse. She has the DCT. And I'm getting all kinds of offers for trade on this bike, on bikes that I'm looking at and uh, it's not going to be easy to let this one go and I, I'm really on the fence about that too I mean it's easy to take opinions from others and say hey keep them both and really not much of a two bike guy I like to throw my all into the bike that I'm on and years ago I'd have two and use one in the winter and this would be my summer bike and but comfort is winning out more and more it really is and the comfort of this bike is nothing short of phenomenal it is nearly impossible to replicate the comfort that you get on the 6th gen Honda Goldwing and I say 6th gen because uh that's the one I'm riding. I mean, I've test written the fifth generations and some of the earlier ones, but that's the one I'm riding in. You can arguably say, hey, look, that one's more comfortable. Yeah, but it don't look like this. 
certainly doesn't look like the sixth generation and it doesn't perform like it so we're talking about six gen guys and you guys know exactly what i'm talking about the big wide seat still on the stock one i might add she's so comfortable i don't know i think i'm gonna have to come to my senses and realize that you know what you, you don't replace bikes like this. It's my biggest regret is letting her go. <laughs> and then regretting it. I mean, I've had my regrets. I've let a few motorcycles go that I wish I, I hadn't. I should have just made a way to uh, store them somewhere and go back to them and give them attention and enjoy riding them. Please leave in the comments below. Leave in the comments below. Have you had a motorcycle that you regret selling, trading, discarding? A motorcycle that is no longer with you for whatever reasons. What was the make model of that motorcycle? And if you had an opportunity to get her again, to get her back, would you? Could you? Should you? I've had a few. My 2014 VFR 800F Interceptor Deluxe was one of those bikes. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I never, ever, ever gave that one up. I mean, she wasn't terribly fast. She was quick for the street. I'm not a track guy, so she was quick for the street. But man, love that bike. But at the time, I didn't see my way of having two bikes. And uh, I went back to adventure bikes. Yeah, went back to adventure bikes. Have an on and off love affair with adventure bikes. Haven't had three adventure bikes two R1200 GS Adventures one back in uh, 2005 and another one back in 2008 also enjoyed the Honda VFR 1200X Adventure Bike actually did an iron button on that bike incredibly comfortable that V4 was a stonking oh one of the most fabulous engines I've ever written. Power everywhere. But yeah, she was top heavy. <laughs> and she was a bit of an ugly duckling, but boy, was that bike something special. Now to think about it, the 1200 GSAs, they were ugly ducklings as well. Not the most beautiful bikes, those adventure bikes. And they look a bit more purposeful, but let's be honest, the majority of us we're taking these bikes and the street bikes. Absolutely positively street bikes. Those bikes come in at over 600 pounds. Loaded up even more. So I don't know who in their right mind is taking those bikes on anything technical. I'm not. Guys, get out there and ride your motorcycles. And enjoy the rest of your day. This is GB Winging It. And I am out.